Hey everyone, I've got some great news to share. How's everyone doing? The current ride we've got is the sleek Alfa Romeo 75. Let's dive into some excitement. The Alfa Romeo 75, sold in North America as the Milano, was a compact sports sedan. Compact executive car produced by the Italian automaker Alfa Romeo between 1985 and 1992. 75 was commercially quite successful. In just three years, 170,000 cars were produced and by the end of production in 1992, around 187,300 had been built. The Alfa Romeo 75 was the last model that the manufacturer developed before being acquired by Fiat. The 75 was introduced in May 1985 to replace the Giulietta with which it shared many components and was named to celebrate Alfa's 75th year of production. The body, designed by head of Alfa Romeo Centro style Ermano Cressoni, was styled in a striking wedge shape tapering at the front with square headlights and a matching grille Alpha 75 featured some unusual technical features, most notably the fact that it was almost perfectly balanced from front to rear. This was achieved by using transaxle schema, mounting the standard five-speed gearbox in the rear connected to the rear differential, rear wheel drive. The front suspension was a torsion bar and shock absorber combination and the rear, an expensive De Dion tube assembled with shock absorbers. These designs were intended to optimize the car's handling. Moreover, the rear brake discs were fitted at the center of the rear axle, near the gearbox differential group. The engine crankshaft was bolted directly to the two-segment drive shaft, which ran the length of the underside from the engine block to the gearbox and rotated at the speed of the engine. The shaft segments were joined with elastomeric donuts to prevent vibration and engine gearbox damage. The 2.0L twin spark and the 3.0 lighter V6 were equipped with limited slip differential. The 75 featured a then advanced dashboard mounted diagnostic computer called Alfa Romeo Control, capable of monitoring the engine systems and alerting the drivers of potential faults. The 75 engine range at launch featured four-cylinder 1.6, 1.8, and 2.0-litre petrol carbureted engines, a 2.0-litre intercooled turbo-diesel made by VM Matori, and a 2.5-litre fuel-injected V6. In 1986 was introduced 75 Turbo, which featured fuel-injected 1,779cc twin-cam engine using Garrett T, three turbocharger, intercooler, and oil cooler. In 1987, a 3.0-litre V6 was added to the range, and the 2.0L Alfa Romeo twin-cam engine was redesigned to have now two spark plugs per cylinder. The engine was named as Twin Spark. With fuel valve timing, this engine produced 146 GP. This engine arguably founded modern engines of today as it was the first production engine to use variable valve timing. In North America, where the car was known as the Milano, only the 2.5 and 3.0 V6S were available from 1987 to 1989. The USA too. Five liters were fundamentally different from their European counterparts. Due to USA regulations, some modifications were required. Most noticeable from the outside were the America bumpers, with the typical rubber harmonicas in them. Furthermore, these bumpers had thick and heavy, shock-absorbing material inside them, and in addition, they were mounted to the vehicle on shock absorbers. To accommodate these shock absorbers, the America bodies were slightly different from the European ones. Other changes relative to the European model were a 67-litre fuel tank, which was located behind the rear seats, reducing the boot capacity from 500L to 300L. Side markers in the bumpers. Exhaust silencer sticking out from under the bumper at the RH side of the vehicle instead of the center fortifications in the doors 
and trunk lid hooks underneath the bonnet to keep the bonnet in position in a crash Alpha 75 with 1.8 twin spark engine has 155 horsepower. Contemporary 1.8 engines do not give the taste of those produced engines. It gives enough loss to a man. 2.0 twin spark is not very powerful. It has a power of 165 horses. Everything is balanced. It interacts with the driver in the loops. The sound of the engine is not typical of a four-cylinder engine. It is softer and thinner. The famous 3.0 V6 sounds like him. This is a whole different world. It has the power of 210 horses. The chassis was strengthened in places where it was necessary. To drift, a little digging is enough. Now I will tell you about Alfa Romeo 75 Turbo Evoluzione. To take part in the 1988 Giro d'Italia, the Alfa Racing Department brought the Group A75 into line with the International Motorsport Association rules. This produced the most powerful 75, the Alfa Romeo 75 Turbo Evoluzione EMSA. After its debut success, Alfa also competed in the 1989 edition, two crushing victories, with the car taking the top three places in both races. In 1988, the Turin Automobile Club organized the ninth edition of the Giro Automobilistico d'Italia. As well as Group N and Group A cars, the event was also open to vehicles tuned and power boosted in accordance with the American IMSA endurance regulations, which also included Group 5 and prototype Gran Turismo cars. In just two months, the Alpha Racing Department, led by Giorgio Pianta, came up with the IMSA version of the new 75 Turbo Evoluzione, placing its fine tune on the hands of the the IMSA regulations put fewer restrictions on the changes which could be made, so the car's track was widened and large plastic mudguards were fitted, while the large carbon fibre spoiler on the boot was increased in size. Further changes to lighten the car reduced its weight to just 960 kilograms. As is often the case with racing cars, there are no specific data on its maximum performance, which depended on the different gear ratios used for each circuit. During their racing career, the car's power underwent major changes, upgraded from about 335 GP in the 1988 version to 400, which competed the following. combine the appeal of the racetrack with that of rallying, because it featured races on the top Italian circuits, Monza, Misano, Verano, and Vallelunga, interspersed with special and transfer stages on the roads used by the biggest national and international rallies. To meet these characteristics, teams consisted of a circuit racing champion and a rally crew of driver and navigator. The Alpha Racing Department entered three cars in the 1988 edition, and they crossed the finishing line in the order Patrese slash Biasion slash Siviero, Larini slash Cerato slash Cherry, and Nanini Lube Andrie. The following year, Alpha again monopolized the race with an all Italian top three. Victory went to Francia slash Cerato slash Cherry ahead of Lorini slash Biasian slash Siviero and Damore Novarasco Cianci, the third place team driving a Group A75 Turbo Evoluzione, followed home by the third 75 PMSA of Guerrero Lube Andrie. The sensational Alfa Romeo 75 Turbo Evoluzione EMSA from the FCA Heritage Collection is exhibited at the Alfa Romeo History Museum and is the one used by Larini slash Biasion slash Siviero in the 1989 edition. If you are equipped with proper wheels and discs, you will feel comfortable on the road. There is never a time without interest with the Alfa Romeo 75. This is the only disease that opens the production of autophonates. Alpha 75 will never be a friend. He plays with you and demands respect from both of you. 
falling in love with him is very easy and serious. It is both the cause and gives you the opportunity to relax. This makes it a very nice daily use. Our video journey with the 75 has come to a close. We're eager to hear your thoughts. Drop your comments below and while you're at it, show some love by giving this video a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. Farewell for now. Farewell.